soy Wei Wei Lan. David Durán. Me llamo Carolina Cerezo Dávila. Yo soy Ramón Souto. Rubén. Son Pablo Coello. Son Stefano Pierini. My name is Basem El Juri. My name is Neva Özgen. Ali Reza Ferhang. Thanasis Deligianis. Yang Xue. My name is Artyom Kim. Naomi Sato. I'm Joel Bonds. Vengo da Torino. De China. Son de Vigo. I come from Syria. I'm coming from Turkey, Istanbul. Yo soy malagueña. I was born in Iran. Greece. China. Uzbekistan. Japan. From Amsterdam, Holland. Soy un pianista en Vertice Sonora Ensemble, que es el grupo residente de Sonotopías. Soy compositora, o bueno, por lo menos se intenta. Toco el arpa y vengo de Bretaña, en Francia. Toco la pipa china. And I am Kanun player. Soy un saxofonista y director musical de Vertice Sonora. Soy el director artístico de Vertice Sonora y además soy compositor. I am a contemporary music composer. In Atlas, I am. Um, Assistant uh, of uh, UL Bonds. I'm the conductor of uh, the Atlas Ensemble. I started the whole group. I'm a composer and I was running the new ensemble as artistic director, which is a contemporary music group. Chamas y son utopías, va a ser un proyecto para cuatro años, entonces esto es Utopías 2013. Pertenece a un proyecto matriz que Campus Cultura. Son utopías Campus Cultura, se llama así. Campus Cultura es un proyecto de la Universidad de Santiago de Compostela, cofinanciado por la Agencia de Cultura de la Unión Europea. Los eh, principales eh, argumentos, las líneas temáticas básicas del proyecto son la diversidad cultural, las minorías, el diálogo intercultural y e la integración en la cultura de las personas en riesgo de exclusión social. Este proyecto son utopías e intenta crear una, eh, un vínculo entre las entre diferentes culturas, ¿no? sobre todo las occidentales y e no occidentales. Pues sí, es un poco esa idea, no sé, la utopía es como eso que siempre persigues y no lo puedes encontrar, pero de alguna manera en esta especie de entorno un poco idílico, digamos, que estamos aquí, estamos haciendo música, pues hay determinadas barreras que ya no existen. Pienso que sea un proyecto extremadamente interesante, porque porta a conoscenza e l'idea è quella di riuscire a eh, trovare una forma di integrazione di, non solo dei, dei, degli strumenti ma anche delle culture musicali. It's not only a musical or cultural event, it's really the communication and the cooperation and, um, among people. So that's the most uh, important thing among this project. It is a great project, I think, and I think we should have much more uh, this kind of project in Europe, in the West, on all the world, of course.
This festival is really uh, something very, very interesting. It's a very good combination and, and uh, it, it's very nice to, to be uh, in part of the project. It's also a, a mixture of cultures in a very eh, inmediato e auténtico que creo que, que representa también muy bien esta, esta utopía que no es utopía que se propone en, este, en, este, en estas jornadas o encuentros internacionales de sus utopías. O mi instrumento se adapta muy bien a ese tipo de, 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 de escritura, de, de sonoridad, de sexualidad, de una manera de, de tocar. ¿no? Personalmente me siento muy, muy, muy cómodo haciendo. Poder trabajar en una agrupación como Vertice, ser o director musical y e, e tocar el saxofón para mí es e un privilegio, ¿no? porque es un instrumento eh, con mucho peso dentro, dentro de la agrupación. Nosotros somos un grupo de música contemporánea de aquí de Galicia. Está formado por artistas sonoros, eh, por intérpretes de diferentes instrumentos y con un amor, bueno, una pasión desmedida hacia la música contemporánea. El grupo surge con esa vocación de relacionarse, de relacionar nuestro territorio con el resto del mundo a través de la música. ¿no? O, o concierto no es o fin, ¿no? sino que realmente eh, es un medio. Empezamos a las nueve, ¿no, Ramón? Sí. Nos dará tiempo. Tenemos mucho la experiencia de trabajar con compositores de, del extranjero que, que encuentran en nuestra agrupación una forma de, de proyectar su trabajo. There is a concert and Vertice Sonora is going to play one of my pieces. Ten years ago I went to Paris, now I live in Paris and uh, yeah, Paris is home. But at the same time I'm really connected to my culture. So maybe I feel more Iranian in Paris than what I was in Iran. Contemporary music is completely open to any other culture, but you just need to know how to use the elements, if you want to use your culture, of course, how to use these elements in your music. For a while, I I needed a kind of distance, distance from my musical culture, from Persian music. But uh, now I think I completely feel free to use uh, all elements from coming from Persian music to my music. The 
the contemporary composers are composing uh, for us uh, all, all around the world, like Azerbaijan, China, Chinese from China, uh, Syria and Japan and Turkey. Que intentas cuando compones, pues es muy abstracto. No intentas, por lo menos yo no intento a lo mejor plasmar un mensaje determinado. Intentas un poco expresar, pues lo que un poco a nivel de, de sentimientos o de emociones más abstractas, lo que determinadas cosas te transmiten. Tenemos muchas partituras donde incluyen una parte de improvisación, que eso es algo al cual no estoy para nada acostumbrada. Y, y ahí ves los límites también en la formación del músico clásico. Y eso abre mucho la mente y da ganas también de hacer nuevas experiencias. musicians learn from each other and the musicians learn from the composer opposite the same. Sometimes I don't use any uh, uh, Persian instruments but still the music is kind of influenced by Persian music. Alessandro igual está arriba escuchando eso. ¿eh? es un instrumento un poco aparte porque están en, en la orquesta están los instrumentos de cuerda, los instrumentos de viento, los instrumentos de percusión y un poco aparte siempre queda el arpa que es al fin y al cabo una especie de piano pero que también tiene mucho parentesco con la guitarra y es un instrumento un poco híbrido. En la nueva literatura musical de la música contemporánea y todo esto los compositores suelen utilizar el arpa de manera interesante porque tiene muchísima posibilidad, o sea, tanto un lenguaje así muy, muy dulce y muy como, como el cliché que todos conocemos, pero también puede ser un instrumento con otro carácter totalmente diferente, agresivo o, o incisivo, así diferente. Normalmente te interesa el timbre, te interesan ciertos aspectos que estos instrumentos pues de repente buah, se te amplía un campo enorme de posibilidades. There's a wonderful variety and for a composer that's like, you know, uh, you know these boxes of pencils with all colors. Yeah. Well, in the West we have a box like this, but the world is like this. So as a composer you have all these fantastic colors and you can create a great orchestra with new sounds of old instruments. Combinations. With this kind of project, we go to playing like new music with the traditional instrument. We're doing the new interpretation to the old things, to the traditional things, with the viewpoint of uh, the people of nowadays. Louder? Otherwise, I'm going to shout. For me, it's like the um, re-understanding to 
to the Chinese culture, to the Chinese traditional music. We cannot um, keep the traditional music. We can go and um, develop and then find, um, find everything. So we try all the time. So yesterday night, uh, we have a special concert, a short concert in here. I think it's very a uh, good idea. Uh, we first we play own solo piece, then play the folk music of Spanish. So it's amazing. Bienvenido. <laughs> Welcome everybody. We are so happy to have you here with us. We are going to, to uh, play some music for you. Uh, we come from all over the world, from China, from Syria, from Azerbaijan, from Austria, from Holland, and from Japan. When I, I play some music, it can touch your heart very much. Ensemble is the Tar from Azerbaijan, which has a very long neck, and uh, it, uh, it is different in a way that it's built for the Mugam music that they make in Azerbaijan. It was a very unusual situation for me. It was for the first time like this, playing in this kind of uh, set uh, on balconies to the public which is sitting on the street. It was very special, but I really loved it. you find people who start singing, picking a piece of bamboo, trying to make a flute out of it, or you know, all, always creating instruments. And you have all these variants, but they're also connected because they have the same principles, like stringed instruments, or blowing, uh, or, or percussion instruments. We think piano, flute, guitar, oboe, 
uh, violin, these are the instruments. But there are thousands of instruments all over the world. And uh, with very long histories. And actually our instruments are not originally from Western Europe, but they are, have ancestors in the Middle East. is the most important and widely instrument in China. It has a long history. It sounds like a human voice. And since we work together with Chinese composers and Chinese musicians, we could easily work together already with my group New Ensemble from the West and Chinese musicians. So I thought, okay, we have Far East and West, and both of us have in common the Middle East, because we have these instruments that come from there. For instance, the oud, the famous lute, is the father of the guitar and the mandolin in the West, and the lute, of course. But in China, it's the pipa. So you can see that they are family, really. Like, you know, like uh, you have your own family with your brother and they have the similar, but they are different. It's called pipa because it is plucked instrument, pipa, pi, uh, up and down, and um, it can bend the tones like in Chinese language. You, in Chinese language you have these glissandos like chow, pio, pow, <coughs> and that's the same what they do in the, in the music. So the instrument has uh, adopted the Chineseness into the instrument, and every instrument embodies the culture where it comes from. My instrument, um, in fact, it was introduced from Persian world uh, through the Silk Road in around Tang Dynasty. And of course, it uh, developed a lot through thousand years. Through the multicultural project, I realized I uh, researched, I re refound the value of my instrument. The instrument is not only um, the instrument because. The representer is the key of the, the whole thing. The canon is like this, and it has uh, always for one tone three strings. And in that sense, it's actually similar to the piano. The piano is a, a child of the kanun. So kanun was first, and they adopted this system. It's a string instrument, a lot of strings, and we play with the plactum with it, also with the fingers. This traditional instrument, uh, what I said, it's used a lot in the Middle East, Arabic country and Far East also. No 
normally is really traditional instrument, you know, uh, how you say that, like the guitar in Spain. Create new things, you know, you get a new color, new sounds, you know. Yeah. All this instrument, exotic instrument, together playing with the marimba and the oboe, with the piano, with the violin, with the canoon, with the duduk, you know, like the, all this uh, mix instrument together, yeah, you, you get really beautiful and very nice sound together. And what is wonderful about the canon is that you have little tuning pegs where you have in one tone you can make the string slightly bigger, uh, longer or shorter. So you can da -da 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 by just tuning it. So they can make very refined microtonal music. Uh, not like our system which is like, you know, the piano with 12 tones. They have tones in between all these tones. So it's a really very beautiful refined system. He says, my name is Elchin Nagiev. I am the teacher of conservatory in Baku. And I teach Mugam, which is Azerbaijanian traditional music. And I play Tar. My instrument has to be dry all the time. So then avoiding the condensation inside of the instrument, I have to heat up the instrument all the time. So the instrument inside of the instrument should stay warmer than my breathing. Oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I play the show, which is the mouth organ. It has uh, many bamboo pipes and a metal reed. It's a family of harmonica, so I can blow, uh, play with uh, blowing and uh, taking a breath, both directions of the breath. And <laughs> yeah, so can make very long sound with both direction, direction of the breath. It's a very traditional instrument. It came from China in 7th century and uh, yeah, since then we are using for the court music, which is for the emperor, and also used for Shintoism or like a Buddhism, which is yeah, the religion. I play a Tur uh, Turkish instrument, very special Turkish instrument, which is called kemanche. It's a very uh, Turkish classical music traditional instrument. Interesting is also that Azerbaijan is in Caucasus and Armenia is also in Caucasus where you have the duduk, the wonderful melancholy apricot wood instrument. And 
the people of Azerbaijan and Armenia, they are big enemies. enemies. They all fight all the time. But culturally, they are one. So they can make music together. El primer ensayo que tuve aquí hace tres días ahora o dos era con el show y con el dulbuk y me pareció tan bonito poder ver estos instrumentos en directo. And that's something amazing from this, that's why it's a little bit utopia. So, son utopias, and we also are a kind of utopian model society. Also, not only musical, but also uh, humanly. Cultura, educación, eh, humanismo, es, es todo lo mismo. O sea, son diferentes eh, imágenes de, de una misma realidad. O eixo central e o gran actativo é a agrupación invitada que o Atlas Ensemble, que ten como base en Holanda, en Amsterdam, pero é unha agrupación moi especial porque reúne instrumentos de diferentes culturas, de Xapón, de China, Turquía, Azerbaixán. Esta particularidade ou singularidade do Atlas Ensemble polos instrumentos que o forman fai que todo o repertorio sexa especialmente compostos para eles. I'm also a composer for this ensemble. I worked with them quite a long time ago, actually. I believe about 10 years. Componer para o Atlas Ensemble é a segunda vez que compongo para eles. Y me gusta mucho trabajar con instrumentos tradicionales porque en este tipo de culturas normalmente la música tiene una función mucho más arraigada en la sociedad en algunos aspectos que en la nuestra, porque en la nuestra ya está todo como muy especializado, muy comercializado y la función es un poco distinta. Entonces, no sé, componer para este tipo de formaciones es como que te conecta con otras cosas, ¿no? por lo menos yo lo pienso así. Trabajé con ellos por primera vez el verano pasado en Amsterdam, en el Atlas Academy que ellos hacen. Entonces dejan que vayan compositores de, pues de todas partes del mundo que se quieran inscribir para asistir a charlas, conocer los instrumentos y demás, y componer para formaciones mixtas, que es también lo que hemos hecho aquí. Conocí el proyecto por internet, me llamó mucho la atención, y pues nada, decidí inscribirme y estuve allí el verano pasado, y la verdad es que la experiencia fue súper enriquecedora. Es en Holanda que he conocido la Transensamble, a través de mi enseñante, e poi sono venuto a contatto di Joel Bones che mi ha coinvolto per, i, per le prime attività dell'Atlas Ensemble in cui c'era questa novità di lavorare con degli strumentisti, dei musicisti che arrivavano da paesi lontani con tradizioni diverse, con una cultura musicale diversa dalla nostra. We started a long, long time ago and we worked with composers from all over the world. And so not only from Europe, but also from outside of Europe, which was quite special. I went in 88 to China and I met all young composers who were completely unknown. And we worked a lot together with Chinese composers and then we asked them also to include sometimes a Chinese instrument. It was First I had the idea to collect all the beautiful instruments of all the world, but that would be an enormous orchestra. So I had to limit myself and make it also practical. Is it wild? 
Imagine if we could live together like we are living together in Atlas and making music together and not fighting but doing something beautiful. I was taking part in the Atlas Academy and Atlas Ensemble, uh, the project for, for four years. Uh, uh, we located in Amsterdam. The meaning and the, the goal of Atlas um, is just to mix different culture and uh, to explore a new language, a new expression way in present. Non solo una mistura di differenti regioni geografiche e culture, sino incluso una mistura nel tempo. No? Stiamo parlando di strumenti di una tradizione millenaria, come la pipa china o il so giapponese, con strumenti di una tradizione molto più recente, come può essere il saxofono o il mio strumento piano. I think always, in, 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 if you see the, how history was uh, created, it's always where two different things come together and then create this new thing. I did a lot of music when I was little, to be a bretón and all this, and the way they see the music is totally different to the way we see the music of the musicians classic here. And I think this mezcla is es interesting, it's an o sea, experience that can bring us a lot from one side or the other. which we hear from radio and from television normally makes us more primitive. It injects more primitive pulsation into us and also film industry and uh, soap operas industry, television actually uh, make us to be more primitive in our emotions. And this is really terrible pro process, I find. This project is one of the possible ways how to solve this problem, what to do with it. Because uh, all the musicians are getting new influences, new concepts of sound, new colors. We really develop our ears we really develop our emotions, we develop our knowledge, and this is, in, in the end of all, this is for us to survive in this world. So this is, for me, this is the, the most important meaning of uh, this kind of projects, and especially Sound Utopia project. Muchas veces las sensibilidades están un poco dormidas o, ¿no? o, o atrofiadas y en ese sentido hay que desarrollar un tipo de trabajo que permita despertar esa, esa creatividad, esa sensibilidad que todos tenemos. Es muy importante ver y observar cómo estas culturas influenciaron a otro y cómo esta interacción está siendo procesada. It's a very interesting meeting because your musicians here, most of them didn't know these instruments and it's a kind of big adventure, will it click? But since we are all musicians, we understand each other even if we don't understand our language. You know, some of them, of us, speak only Russian or Chinese or whatever. And so you have to communicate through the music. Atlas Ensemble me parece una idea muy bonita y muy interesante, sobre todo Muchos de los instrumentos del Atlas Ensemble los había estudiado en la universidad o los había visto en vídeos, en fotos, pero nunca los había visto tocado en directo. Y ver cómo, cómo esas dos familias pueden estar a veces muy alejadas, pero a veces se pueden volver a encontrar. Es una experiencia muy enriquecedora a nivel humano, porque conoces gente muy distinta, pues, gente que viene de culturas y de conceptos que no tienen nada que ver con el tuyo, incluso la manera que tienen de pensar respecto a la música. The musician from many different countries together and then try to collaborate to each other. So there's a lot of more connections to all the local cultures everywhere around the world. And I think one of the beautiful things of music is that it's so universal. I think we don't know how, uh, what happened, but we find every time and every music. So um, from to Japan, China, to Europe, 
and I think it's uh, some different and some similar. It's strange and amazing. Uh, this diversity is very, very beautiful. Uh, it's, it's very important to, to preserve the identity, but at the same time be open to the, what is new. The, the, all the traditional music instruments combined uh, in, under the, the contemporary music, uh, uh, that's all, and I'm very, uh, play, I'm very happy to play with, with them. Es la combinación de instrumentos no occidentales con instrumentos occidentales, que son los que nos utilizamos, pero como se ha comentado antes, está ese, ese, ese hilo común que al final parece que todo se mezcla. ¿no? Cuando uno escucha música japonesa tradicional, parece que hay cosas en la música contemporánea que también ocurren de ese mismo seito. ¿no? Pienso que el concierto de presentación Convertirse Sonora y el concierto de clausura Convertirse Sonora y Atlas Ensemble muestra como dos como do caras de la misma da misma moeda. ¿no? Bueno, tivemos a otras atrás en Semble, tivemos la oportunidad de escucharlos antes a estos solistas en eh, un formato de los sus instrumentos originales, ¿no? la música que fue feita para esos instrumentos, en los instrumentos que fueron feitos para esa música. ¿no? O sea, que vamos a escuchar eh, esos instrumentos sacados de contexto en un formato de música contemporánea eh, mezclados con los instrumentos occidentales y eh, e modernos. Entonces, yo creo que este o, a, o punto ha sido porque la experimentación que propone eh, Sunotopías es precisamente esa. We have traditional music uh, in on the streets and in the church, but then we also have new music with composers writing for it. So we have together this kind of experience of what is this? We have to discover what the composer had in his mind and we have to translate it into music. It's a very special project, uh, pro, um, process that a composer has an imagination, puts it down in little dots on the paper, and we have, as musicians, to decode it and make it, transmit it to the audience. It's a strange process. And that's very interesting to work on this, because you have to discover the music behind the little dots on the paper, and then make it clear for the audience. And I hope uh, people like it. Duduk I was explaining with this melancholy sound but it is a double reed instrument which is similar to the oboe and also a little bit similar to the clarinet it's in between so if you take this example and then we have an alto flute so we have these colors of the wind instruments and then we have strings like the western violin and the cello and the viola but we have kemenche from Turkey and arhu from China so these are all variants of the same instrument and we hear the similarities and the differences and all one in, uh, uh, brought, to, brought together. You hear composers' ideas about all these colors in sometimes a very soft and sweet piece, sometimes a very aggressive and strange piece, sometimes a very new sound world, sometimes a very uh, melodic sound world. So you have a very big variety of uh, of pieces. Uh, this musician can improvise very, very well. That musician can play very well from notes. How do I combine them? This musician has a Middle Eastern tuning. This musician has a Western tuning. Mm, so you have to find solutions and be very inventive to create interesting music.
Actually, uh, it's very obvious, uh, but music unites people. Not only the people who make the music, but also people who listen to music. If you see the pop concerts or world music concerts or, or classical concerts even, you see a mixture of audiences that are all silently listening very carefully to the beauty on stage. It's actually one of the most 
beautiful things in our lives, I think. Take a place uh, each music that you can imagine. Para mí la música es ese puente que une cosas que a lo mejor están separadas. Is it evolution or is it involution? Our technique is developing in an incredibly fast way, but what's going on with us as human beings? Are we getting more, uh, more complex in our feelings? Uh, I, I really suffer because of this. And these musicians help me to do something with it, to, to survive. The fact that nowadays we, the, all cultures are getting closer and closer, it's really important that we, uh, we pay attention to this phenomenon. And everybody has to find his own way what to do with it.